temporary heating system? Do you ever wonder how the hot water makes it from the boiler up through the heating elements and then back to the boiler? Well, it's this guy right here that makes it happen. This is a circulator pump. Hi, my name is Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about circulator pumps and how they work. The circulator pump works in conjunction with the zone valves, the boiler system, and the thermostats to provide heat to the house. And when the thermostat indicates that heat is needed to a room, uh, it sends a low voltage signal to both the zone valve and the circulator pump to begin sending hot water from the boiler to the heating elements. When the cool water, or water that's cooled from the heating elements comes back to the boiler, it's reheated, and the circulator pump recirculates the hot water again back up to the heating system. Uh, circulator pumps are also used in domestic hot water systems pro to provide uh, on-demand uh, hot water to showers and faucets, etc. It's very useful for uh, saving water, however, it's very, very energy inefficient. Um, hydronic hydronic um, circulator pumps uh, typically will fail over time, and when they do, um, there's a couple things that you should be aware of when replacing one. Number one, you want to look at the flow performance, and this is a metric or a set of performance measurements that determine the power of the motor. Um, besides horsepower, you want to look for whether or not it's capable of how much vertical lift. Um, typically in a two or three story home, you want to make sure there's sufficient lift to get hot water up to the third floor, particularly when you're in a basement. Uh, second is the amount of water that can flow per minute through the um, circulating pump. You want to make sure there's sufficient water that can flow through it to support the zones that you have in your system. So those are the basics of a circulator pump. If you have other home improvement questions, visit us at homeeditionplus.com today.